This is Mark chapter four. Again, Jesus began to teach by the sea and a very large crowd gathered around him. So he got into a boat on the sea and sat down while the whole crowd was on the seashore. He taught them many things in parables and in his teaching, he said to them, listen, consider the sower who went out to sow. As he sowed, some seed fell along the path and the birds came and devoured it. Other seed fell on rocky ground where it didn't have much soil and grew up quickly since the soil wasn't deep. When the sun came up, it was scorched and since it had no root, it withered away. Other seed fell among thorns and the thorns came up and choked it and it didn't produce fruit. Still other seed fell on good ground and it grew up and produced a fruit that increased 30, 60 and 100 times. And then he said, let anyone who has ears listen. When he was alone, those around him with the twelve asked him about the parables. And he answered them, the secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you. But to those outside, everything comes in parables so that they may indeed look and yet not perceive. They may indeed listen, but not understand. Otherwise, they might turn back and be forgiven. Then he said to them, don't you understand this parable? How then will you understand all the, any of the parables? The sower sows the word. Some are like the word sown on the path. They hear, but immediately Satan comes and takes away the word sown in them. Others are like the seed sown on rocky ground. When they hear the word, immediately they receive it with joy. But they have no root and are short lived. When distress or persecution comes because of the word, they immediately fall away. Others are like seeds sown among thorns. These are the ones who hear the word, but the worries of this age, the deceitfulness of wealth and the desires for other things come in and enter and choke the word and it becomes unfruitful. And those like seeds sown on good ground hear the word, welcome it and produce fruit 30, 60 or 100 times what was sown. He also said to them, is a lamp brought to be put under a basket or under a bed? Isn't it to be put on a lampstand? For there's nothing that will not be revealed and nothing concealed that will not be brought to light. If anyone has ears to hear, let him listen. And he said to them, pay attention to what you hear. By the measure you use, it will be measured to you and more will be added to you. For whoever has, more will be given to him. And whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. The kingdom of God is like this, he said. A man scatters seed on the ground. He sleeps and rises night and day. The seed sprouts and grows, although he doesn't know it. The soil produces a crop by itself. First the blade, then the head, then the full grain on the head. As soon as the crop is ready, he sends for the sickle because the harvest has come. And he also said, with what can we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use to describe it? It's like a mustard seed. It's the smallest of the seeds in the ground. And when it's sown, it comes up and grows taller than all the garden plants and produces large branches so the birds of the sky can nest in its shade. He was speaking the word to them with many parables like these and as they were able to understand. He did not speak to them without a parable. Privately, however, he explained everything to his disciples. On that day, when evening had come, he told them, let's cross over to the other side of the sea. So they left the crowd and took him along since he was in the boat. And there were other boats too. A great storm arose and the waves were breaking over the boat. So the boat was being swamped. Jesus was in the stern sleeping on a cushion. So they woke him up and said, teacher, don't you care? We're going to drown. We're going to die. Jesus got up, rebuked the wind and said to the sea, silence be still the wind ceased and there was a great calm then jesus said to them why are you afraid do you still have no faith and they were terrified and asked one another who then is this even the wind and the sea obey him <clears throat> 